so that you have different tabs that you can go through and say, okay, this is my driver tab. This is my damper tab. This is my engine tab. So that you can quickly kind of flip through different tabs to see what the overall look of the sensors is. So I think sensor health is the first thing you look at. You know, Are there dropouts? Is a sensor reading incorrectly? And then how important is that sensor? Because obviously, as you know, in racing, you have a practice session and then you've got you know two hours before you go back out again. So your time is very limited. So we have to be able to rank the importance of fixing sensors or fixing issues in order of what's the most important, what is engine stopping, what is race stopping, what is practice stopping versus what's something that's a nice to have. But if you run with a session without it, it's not going to be the end of the world. You can make do without that particular sensor. So I think a really good thing is having those different tabs. So you can quickly look through and say, okay, there's no dropouts. There's no major issues. The sensor hasn't pulled the whole five volt bus down. That's a major problem. But okay, the sensor is reading a little bit incorrectly. It's really noisy. Okay, that's something I need to look at, but I don't need to fix in the next hour. I need to focus on this other aspect. 